and Staff Gymnasium, the home of the Brockton Boxer. Tonight, the Brockton Boxer will be facing a Durfee Hill top race. Big three matchup. I'm New Brianto, and I'm joined with Jimmy Melton. Jimmy, tough season for the Brockton Boxers, but it's never too late to turn around the season. Yes, that's right. I just hope, you know, tonight they can play with, you know, good team chemistry, play with a spark, and, you know, hopefully, you know, get it get it working tonight. I mean, teamwork is a key tonight. Jimmy, what, what, what are the, the problems this team's been having? But more importantly, what are the solutions that the Brockton Boxers could uh, implement against Durfee right now? All this is just about basically matching up and hard work and defense it mainly is what it is. I think solution is, you know, just stepping up on D and making the right necessary plays on offense. Goes out of bounds. Looks like the Hilltoppers are retained possession. Once again, big three match right here. Brockton actually has lost against Durfee early on in the season. Missed shot right there. Durfee gets the offensive board. Last touch on the Hilltoppers. Those are boxers will get their first possession of the game. Here's Chantel Jordan. Top of the key looking for Melton. Swings the ball. Looks like Hilltop is putting on a man right now. Yes. Melton to the basket. Yo. Nice open lane for Chanel Melton, number 11. Right to the basket, right down Main Street. That's what I think Jimmy the Brock the Box need to do is just be more aggressive. I honestly think we overanalyze the game. Just go straight to the basket and attack rather than passing the ball around. Just you know, go straight to the basket, attack, look for the first open score. Well, yes, that is one of their main. That's one of their main solutions. But I just think it's lack lack of um guards and balling and skills that it may it, it should happen. They do have the right personnel for it. Jordan missed the layup. Chanel Melton with the rebound, another jump shot. Puts up the first four points of the game. Boxers take a four to nothing lead. Just under seven is left in the first quarter. Boxers Box put on his own up. defense. Oh, that. Offensive rebound right there. Good. No good. No good. Oh, another miss. Good defensive rebound. Now we have a jump ball. Possession now is towards the Hilltoppers. Melton bring the ball up. Swings it to Jordan. Sees the three. Misses. Misses. Able to get up. We have a jump ball situation. Now it's back to Durfee. Hilltoppers. Jimmy, I think this is the problem right now that um, that the box is running into where we get too happy with the, with the jump shots. And we get too jump shot happy rather than, than continue to attack the basket. Yes, usually sometimes they may settle for the jump shot, but I think that if they do it tonight and attacking the basket and staying strong, it will be a good night for the boxers. Oh, fighting for the ball here. Come on, Chelsea, gotta make some shots. Let's go, kiddo. Work hard. to the charity strike for two free throws. That's number 21 for the uh, for the Hilltoppers. That's Chelsea Capalone, captain 5'8". First free throw front rims it, and Durfee still scoreless with uh, two minutes gone into the game. You know, tonight I see that, you know, between the Hilltoppers and, and um, the boxes, they're evenly matched as height-wise. Good free throw there by the captain, splitting the free throws. Durfee coming to the season, actually, typically Durfee struggles, but they're eight and six, so uh, definitely a, a very good matchup for the boxes. Jordan to the basket, rejected. Here come the Hilltoppers. Here come the Hilltoppers. Swings it. To the basket from the to elbow. The Misses it. Elbow. Aaliyah Brito with the rebound. There's Melton, top of the key. Oh, it takes a tumble. Tackled at the two. Football games on Sunday. She takes a little spool, but she'll be fine. Speaking of football, I know it's early, but let's let's get right to it. Big football game on Sunday. Um, Got to talk to you about your predictions. Well, at least give us a hint of, of who your 
of who we going towards. I like to think it's it's, it's one team. The for, you know first letter starts with the P and ends with the ends with the T. Well, I should say S. Plural. I'm getting right to it. The Patriots. I'm all the way for the Patriots. Yeah, Chris McDuff with a nice jump shot. So six to one boxes up by five. With uh, five minutes left in the first quarter. Top of the key. Looks inside. It's going to be a traveling violation. Seems like the Hilltop the Hilltoppers, they have a little struggle on their offense right now. Well, the, co the coach actually said they're in La La Land, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> if they sleep in the rest of the night, it may not be good. And I like the aggression early on by um, the Hilltopper, Jimmy. I, I think, um, check that, might not by the Hilltoppers, the boxers. Just early on, just being a, a little more assertive with the paint. Yes, yes, I do like it. Always being a servant to the paint, banging down low, getting the easy buckets down low. It's the best way to do it. We have Christian at the line right now. She has missed the first one. We got a second one coming up. Second free throw is no good. Rebound by the Hilltoppers. Three right there, air ball. Goes out of bounds. Last touch on the Hilltoppers. Here's Melton, top of the key, looking for Jordan. Jordan launches. No good offensive board. You know, it's got to be great to have a last name Jordan playing basketball. That's got to be awesome. Yeah, it is good, especially when you're winning um, number 23 as, you know, an incentive, too. I mean, how great should you play? That's automatically putting pressure on yourself, though. Yeah. Last name Jordan and picking the number 23. But then again, you got to rise to the occasion. Always. First free throws, no good. We have Aaliyah at the charity stripe right now. 4.27 left in the first quarter. Box is up by five points. Second free throw is good. Yeah, yeah. That's Swings the ball top of the key. Top. Looks inside. Double team puts it up. No foul was called. Last touch on the Hilltoppers and uh, the box will get the ball. Physical play in the interior. I thought foul should have been called. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. But I mean, then again, you know, you gotta let the girls play though. Melton swings in the inside, back outside. Thought about the three things better. Baseline to Jordan. Jordan floater. Yes. These ladies are playing great ball tonight. Very good with the ball, um, passing the ball tonight. They're seeing each other, and that's, a, that's what they should be doing early in the season. Now, Jimmy, you're, you're, you're a ball player. I actually, I play basketball myself. You know, I probably would have played varsity if it wasn't for the great injury I had uh, four years ago, you know, the, the big knee injury I had. Yeah, I remember that. No, we was on the court together. Yeah, I was going out for actually for a tomahawk dunk. And then, uh, anywho, but... You're, you're an athlete right now, and, and, and you're facing a team that's that's struggling to block the boxes. If you're the Hilltoppers playing on the Hilltoppers, do you almost underestimate the Brockton boxes coming in here? This is almost a guaranteed victory. Is that is that mindset going in? Right now, as a as a basketball player, you just have to step on the court. Everything's fresh. I mean, you understand that you do have a, a win uh, in your belt over these guys, but then again, you got to come in here fresh with a fresh mindset, ready to play. Hopefully they time out for the Hilltoppers and you set them straight. But let's see how the game goes. Boxers are playing excellent defense. So 9-1, to one. Boxers definitely jumping out to a quick lead. 
In the inside, back outside. To the baseline, floater. No good. Tenacious defense, Jay, by the Brock to Bronx. It's melted coast to coast. Oh. Left hand, yes. Showing the basketball jeans right there, Jimmy. Yes. Great fast big and great defense by Lakers, Shannon. Lakers. Hilltoppers will inbound the ball. Defense there, there looking to go. swing the ball. From the elbow, yes. Their first field goal of the game, 11 to three with three minutes left in the first quarter. That was a great catch and shoot by Katie Powers from the Hilltoppers. Call a Shelby violation here, which I didn't see. Interesting call right there. I didn't see the traveling violation. Nevertheless, turnover on the Brockton boxes. But as we can see, though, great defense by the boxes. You know, you know what they're doing? They're doing a good job rotating um, to the basketball. The rotations are fresh. And yes, that's Durfin's right. having a tough time. And traveling violation, man. There you go. That, that rotation, Jimmy, where they're having a tough time breaking the zone because the rotations have been so quick. Yes, it's similar to how out of Boston Celtics play. They're always rotating to the next spot. And even if they do get beat, they also have a man behind them that's always ready, protecting the hoop. Jordan loses the ball out of bounds. Can't have those careless turnovers. No, careless turnovers, no. But I think it should be a better pass, though, even though you see the, see the defender. Freshman uh, Jen Caruso comes to the game. I like the, I like the freshman on the boxes. From the elbow. Durfee having a tough time. Thought about the three. Swings it. Ten on the shot clock. Jordan, fantastic defense. In trouble. Five on the shot clock. Spinning. Puts it up. Deflected. Offensive board. Shot clock violation. Now that's good defense. Great defense, I may add. That is a great defensive stop by the Lady Boxes. Now let's see if they can keep that up all game. No good on the three. Nope. Offensive board. Offensive board by Chanel Melton. Yet again, Chantel Jordan driving to the line, driving to the basket. Two free throw shots for her. One thirty-five left in the first quarter. Box is up by eight points. Chantel Jordan be lying for two free throws. Six the first free throw. What's going to do, Brad Toe? Join with Jimmy Melton. Big shout out to the Brock Tonight TV Club for helping us out through this game today. Offensive board. Jordan puts it up, gets assaulted, no foul called. Swings it, launches, three pointer, no good. Good, good. Chanel Melton with the rebound. She's bringing down the ball. Melton slows it down. Nice baseball pass right there. Open court. Oh, great block by the freshman. That's how you play right there. Jordan, helter skelter after all that. Last touch on the boxes. Good hustle right there by uh, Jen Caruso. Twelve to three. One minute left. In the first period, slow moving first period overall, a few, a few calls. Melton takes a spill. 
just wiggles it right to the basket. Nice little move right there, 12 to 5. Great move by Brianna. Nice Euro step right to the lane. So is it Caruso? Elbow, shot, no, no good. good. No good. Nice traveling violation right there. Late call, but nevertheless, they call it. Now, that was a question of call right there, but you know, the way they call it tonight seems tight. Jimmy, 13 seconds left. Shot clock's turned off. What do you tell your team right now? Right now, get the last shot. That's basic basketball 101. This Caruso swings it. Melton puts it up. No good. Out of bounds. About a second and a half left. And that's the first quarter score right there. Brockton boxes coming on strong, 12 to five, and definitely a, a big confidence booster. Oh yes, they are coming on strong like a cheap perfume. I tell you this though, it seems like their offense has a new, a new feeling to them. Like they're they're ready. They should be the second quarter. They're ready to play. So Brockton boxes uh, definitely having a tough time this season, but you know it's a pride game. It's a pride game when you're facing the Durfees and the Bedfords. You know, you definitely want to put your best foot forward. So uh, that's what the Brock the Box are doing. And also you want to you know, avenge that loss. But, um, you know, we can't continue on this uh, this broadcast. I'll talk about the, uh, I think there's a game on Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the Super, what is it called? Uh, Super, Super Bowl. Super Bowl, Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah, Super Bowl. Good old Super Bowl. Is that where they put all the chips, the tortilla chips in the bowl? Uh, yes, yes. That, that's the one. I, I, I like. I can't miss it. I'm going to bring my own dip, though. I'm, yes. I'm not partial to sharing my dip. If you, take my, if you take my dip, you're finished. This, 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 let's not even go there. Uh, um, this make, makes sense. Makes sense. So, you know, definitely a, a big matchup right here. The way I see it, you know, I've always told people this. I'm scared. Okay, because I think the Giants have a good chance of winning. Do I think they're going to win? No. But it won't be a complete upset. I was, I was saying this, I'm like, you know, this is the first time where the Patriots are not overwhelming favorite or overwhelming underdog. It's actually a pretty evenly uh, matched game. So um, I definitely think the Pats are going to pull it out and, uh, and, and, and win the game. But um, if we get another Baltimore Raven game, I'll tell you what. I mean, when I think of Pats and the Giants, I just think of revenge and getting a W, being the champs again. Swings it, launches, three-point shot, no good. No good. Sprint. Here come the boxers, three on one right here. Melton, double team, throws it up out of bounds. And that three on one, Jimmy, you got to finish that. Yes, you do have to finish that, but that's a great rebound by Christian. Number 33 on the boxes. Melton the inbound. Jordan launches. No good. Hilltoppers get the board. Hilltoppers have numbers if they hurry up. Ah. In the inside. Gets the foul. I tell you what, um, this to me, if you shoot a three-point shot, that leads to long rebounds, which leads to fast breaks on the other side of the court, which is very dangerous. If boxes continue to shoot these three, it's going to lead to these long rebounds by the Hilltoppers. Yes, yes, it will be a long rebound, but it just makes sure everybody gets back. Always the, sh the shooter, when the ball lets go of your hand, you always know where the ball's going to go. So I mean, either get your rebound or get back on defense if you can't make it. We have, a, we have the senior captain of the Hilltoppers, Chelsea, Chelsea Capano. Shooting at the um, charity stripe. Missed one on the second one now. Missed both. There's Melton. Boxers have numbers if they hurry up. Loses the ball. Nice save right there. Here come the Hilltoppers. Swings it to the basket. Left hand. No good. Offensive board. Here come the Boxers. Here's Jordan. Slowing things down. 12 to 6. Boxers up. With seven is left. In the inside. Ooh, got away with the travel. Stolen. Here come the Hilltoppers. No good. Everyone tumbling to the ground. 
And after all that help to scale to box to get the ball. Sloppy play by both teams early on, Jimmy. Right now, it seems like they're very excited. Hilltop is uh, eager to score just as well as uh, Lady Boxes. But I think it's just who controls the pace of the game is going to, you know, start the second period off right. Jordan swings it to Melton. Another turnover by the Boxes. Story of the season. Good defense by Jordan. Twelve on the shot clock. Shoots from the elbow. Yes. Good jump shot by the Hilltoppers captain Rachel, number fourteen. Top of the key is Melton. Inside, swings back outside. Goes baseline, floater, no good. And here we go. Fox is definitely getting the hands on the ball, just can't quite uh, create the turnover. Launches another three, no good. Here come the boxes. Loses the ball again. Turnover fest 2012. For three. For three. Another long rebound. I'll tell you what, it's been a, quite a, a display of, of bad shooting by both teams um, the past few minutes. But Durfee slowly but surely is, is creeping back in this game. Dangerous cross court pass right there. Jordan launches, misses. Melton to the basket, the floater, no good. Boxes can't buy a basket right now, Jimmy. What I see right now, I think the ladies, the lady boxes have to go back to what they were doing before, swinging the ball, rotating the ball around the court. They were scoring baskets then, they're not doing it now. Russo comes back into the game. Come on, Chelsea, short corner. Oh. Chelsea, you got to That's late. Getting the hand on the ball. Good dive. Everyone definitely getting the fair everybody, show. Of floor everybody burns. is getting the hands on the ball. Another turnover that brought the box. It's just, just each team just cannot get out their own way right now. Foul on uh, offensive foul on the Hilltoppers. <clears throat> McDuffie comes to the game for the boxers. And Catherine Lewis in the game. Melton swings it. Caruso top of the key. Five on the shot clock. They need to get off a shot. Launches three. Jordan no. Didn't hit the board. They put it back up. One second left. Shot clock violation. Boxes. Jimmy are having a tough time right now scoring the basket. The offense just seems like it's in a cluster right now. Side, great up good, and under. Good block by Chanel Melton. Another good defensive play. These lady boxers got their hands up, and Jordan digs out the ball for a jump ball. And that's the aggression right there that, that we need by, by the uh, by the boxers. It was a jump bar. Jump ball possession I was towards. Possession I was towards the, the hilltoppers. 3.29 left in the first half. 
boxes up by four. Gets in the lucky roll. After all that work, box is only up by deuce. Melton launches, no good. And Cruz is gonna call an over the back foul. Right now, the Lady Boxers is getting a little frustrated on their offense, and they're rushing into a lot of their offense right now. They slow it down, and they bring back the pace what they had early in the first quarter. Nice outlet pass right there by Melton. Three on one, Melton stops, pops, no good. Offensive board, McDuffie launches, elbow, yes. Side, double team puts it up, no good. Good defense by Christian McDuffie. Dangerous cross court pass. 50 on the shot clock. Caruso loses the ball. Jump ball, possession. I was going court towards the boxes. Down on the post is we have Christian. And Duffy just a beast in the paint. But Duffy, the overall mindset by the Brock the Boxes and the aggression um, is definitely different from what I've seen from past games. The, the intensity has, has definitely risen. Well, I would hope so. I mean, are you, would you be tired of losing? I would like to think so, Jimmy. So, I mean, I think, of it, I think of it as a new new gain of hunger, I can see with the Lady Boxers. They're out, they're playing aggressive, they're ready, and they're finishing, and they're rotating and seeing each other. Second free throw is good. 16 to 10. Boxers up by six points, 150 left in the second quarter. Hilltoppers, top of the kick, swings it. Go forward. Back out to the top, to the wing. Now the baseline, no good. Oh. I don't know, that, that's really a horrible call right there. Um, yes, it is. You know, should, it should have been an offensive foul. I checked that a, a defensive foul on the Hilltoppers, and she just was right in the way as she was. Uh, Turned around for the basket. Loses the ball again. Here come the boxes. That is good defense by Dominique Cole down there in the post playing good defensive post defense. Sits it back outside. Melton splits the double team. No foul is called. Spinning. Wide open three, no good. Hilltoppers yeah. can't buy a basket right now. Just, just can't, can't get anything going offensively. No, they can't. Nothing's falling at all. But I do like the drive and the dish out to the basket though from the Hilltoppers. Looked very good. Got another long three-pointer coming out. We got a nice rebound by Shannon, streaking down the court. Tried to do the bounce pass, but. One person zigged, the other person zagged. I would think that the left-handed player, Shannon, would you know, be able to go with the ball instead of um, looking out for your teammates. She's very unselfish, though, I see. In the inside, great pass right there. Basket for two. That is a very great play between Chanel Melson and Christian McDuffie. They're seeing each other tonight, newbie. <laughs> That'd be correct, Jimmy. There you go. Get her off her back. 
the inside. Good defensive rebound by Cole. Ball swinging up court by Chanel Melton. Inside pass. Oh, intercepted by. Nice baseball pass right there by the Hilltoppers. <laughs> Offensive board. Looks like they're going to have the last shot of the, first, of the second quarter. And traveling violation. Three seconds left. Boxers will have a good chance to... Um, to get the last shot right now. If they, if they play smart, three seconds left, I'd probably roll the ball up court and try to get a decent look before the half ends. All I've seen tonight is the Lady Boxers down there crashing boards. So there it is right there. That's your score, 18 to 10. Boxers uh, surprisingly been very dominant in this game. So that's your first half score. Jib, your thoughts on the, on the first half? My thoughts on the first half, I see the Lady Boxers playing strong on the boards, great aggressive on the defense. They're playing at their tempo right now, defensively and offensively, and it's looking good. They're not shying away from what they did the first quarter, and they came out great with a great first half. All right, guys, we'll see you after this quick break. And welcome back to the second half, Brockton Boxers versus Diffie Hill Toppers. I'm Lou Brietto, Joe and Jimmy Melton. Boxers up 18 to 10. Physical game in the first half, Jimmy. Um, you're in the locker room right now, um, and, and you're the coach of the Brockton Boxers. What do you t tell your team um, and, and to continue this in the second half? Right now, I tell my team for the second half that keep keep up what you're doing, passing the ball, playing aggressive on defense, and getting every defensive rebound. That's how they've been winning the game. <laughs> McDuffie to him on the ball. Looking for Jordan. Can't find her. Tough defense right there. Tries to throw out of bounds. For the start of the second half in the third period, the Hilltop has come right out in a nice man-to-man -man press. Full court. Cross-court pass. No good, rebounded by uh, McDuffie. Dang. Nice shot right there by Melton. That was a great move on fast break, a great move. Launches a three, no good. So boxes, 20 to 12. With 6.50 left in the uh, third quarter. Right now, the Hilltop has put on a diamond press. Jimmy, explain to the viewers what's a diamond press. If, if diamond press, you have one person on the ball, two people behind her, one person behind them. That forms a box, and you have your fifth person all the way down. Push it, push Chanel, Chanel Melton with a great running jumper right through the lane. Three point shot. Yes. Yeah, timeout called. That was so, so 22 to 15. Box is up by seven. Jim, if you could hear the stuff our director saying in our headset, you'd realize why I'm laughing. <laughs> Must be some funny stuff happening on, some funny, funny stuff. But 22 to 17, 22 to 15, excuse me, box is up by seven. Um, do you, this is a good litmus test, I think, for the Brockton Boxers, Jimmy, that, you know what, we have to build on these type of games. And, 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 and find our identity throughout the whole season. I mean, yes, I do agree with you. Find the identity right now would be the best thing because it brings out a lot of confidence in with the team. And making that happen, that's where they're going to either improve or reform. Right now, we're looking for the Lady Boxers to improve drastically. 
Speaking of um, big games, there's also a big game on Sunday, um, basketball game, Brockton I versus New Newton North. Um, which is definitely, um, you know, both teams' uh, New powerhouses. New North for many years have had a great basketball team and great basketball program. But sure enough, same thing with the Brockton Boxers. Melton puts it in for two. I agree. I think New North, I remember one year they had two Division One players. I think it was Anthony Gurley and Corey Lowe. Um, one team, one went to Boston University, one went to uh, Wake Forest. Um, so definitely a great matchup. So jump ball right here. Possession now is towards the boxes. Great tie up by number 12, Shannon Springstead. Here's Jordan to Melton. Melton, floater. No good. Offense board by the defense board by the Hilltoppers. Goes out of bounds right there. Box is on the ball. His Jordan gets a screen by Melton. Melton in trouble. Excuse me, Jordan in trouble. Now Melton has the ball. Jordan puts it up off the glass. Did you call the glass? I don't Did you call she, glass? I don't think she called glass, but it's still a great move by Chantel Jordan. Doesn't count if you didn't call glass. Still two two points in my book. <laughs> 26 to 15, boxes up by 11. Great defense by Chrissy McDuffin. She's leading the break right now. Uh-oh. Looks like she uh, puts it in for two, but she's looks like she uh, twisted that ankle right there. Her right ankle. She's uh, definitely in some, some considerable pain. But she gets up. Walks it off. Almost as if nothing happened. Hey, warrior spirit right there. She's a tough, she's tough, very tough. All I would say is to check those sneakers, lace them up real tight, and keep on playing. So that's so important to, uh, I remember Tommy Heinze is always going on these little rants. So it's so important to lace up and, 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 and wrap your ankles before each game. So 28 to 15 boxes up by 13. Definitely put a, um, a beat down the Hilltoppers. Yes, they're coming out with the same tenacity they did in the first quarter. In the first half, actually, they're playing with spirit. They're playing with team. They're playing very great. I'm not sure about great. They're playing, great. They're playing, they're playing good. I think they're playing great, maybe. Well. We we'll just we we'll just have to agree and disagree. I don't disagree with is the game on Sunday. I think the Patriots are gonna play great. I don't know. You know what? I, you know what, Jimmy? I don't know. I, I was sorry, so I was talking to Dr. Zach before um, before the first half. But like during the game, I'm a player. I mean, before the game, I'm a player. I'm a nervous wreck. I have to eat a good breakfast. I can't sleep the night before. Um, I'm just one big mess. I'm not sure if that was a hook shot or a floater. Nevertheless, offensive board puts it in for two. That's a great offensive ball by the captain of the Hilltoppers, Chelsea. Get a stop, Brent. Push it up the floor. Let's go. Have an air ball by Shannon Springstead. Get a stop. Get a stop. Four minutes left in the third quarter. Box is up by 11. Good. Here's Melton in the inside of McDuffie. And good. McDuffie in trouble. High pass, goes out of bounds, tries to save it. Nope. Durfee uh, gets the ball again. Another box of turnover. To 
the baseline. No good, offensive board, no good. Offensive board again, gets fouled. Tell you what, Jimmy. I mean, next time when there's practice for the Hilltoppers, I'm working on just jump shots the whole game. Because this is fundamental basketball. Rule number 500, section 2, ordinance 1.7 or 6? I can't forget which one it is. It's 7. It's 7, okay. I directed saying 6, so I think I think it's 6.5. He has to reread the paragraph. Yeah. He, well, if our director can read the book properly, he'd see that 7. Yeah. Curly is probably a complete moron. It's all right. I have a copy in my back pocket. I'll hand it to him, you know, when we get a timeout. Exactly. The captain of the Hilltops is Chelsea, as you know, just made both free throws. Bringing the lead underneath nine. But the newbie research team will um, figure that out about the rule and uh, consult with the Mandeville research team to make one mega research team to have an analysis breakdown at the end of the game. And we'll get that to you. Uh, and, 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 uh, in, in, in a timely manner. Traveling violation right there. Isn't it Everyone just seems to be falling to the ground a lot today. I think it's an um, imbalance of gravity that we're having tonight. Either that or a little bumps in the road on the court. I have no idea. I don't know what the imbalance of gravity thing, because I'm not tripping. <laughs> that was the case. I mean, we're a little some type of court where it just, just you know, you know, wobbles to the right and left. What type of planet you live on? <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-eight, nineteen boxes up by nine points, but. It almost like the box is up by nine points. They almost could be up by 20 the way um, the Hilltoppers are struggling to score. Yes, but right now, you know, the only reason that hasn't been up by 20 is a lot of the boxes' turnovers. Just missed passes, things going on like that. Inside the offense. Right? They're still playing, you know, good offense right now. 240 left. Big three matchup once again. New Brad Toe, Jimmy Melton. Jay Melton is actually um, also, you know, one of men of, of many talents, uh, a model, and also the lead actor on uh, many of the new production documentaries. Uh, the self-proclaimed sandwich addict. So um, definitely uh, a, a lot of a lot of hot hats that Jimmy wears. Not to mention sports analyst. How do you do, Jimmy? Um, Doing it, just got to be well-rounded. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Swings the ball. In trouble. Floater. No good. Offensive board. Puts it up. Gets fouled. With a great, strong offensive rebound by Shannon Springstead. She's going to the charity stripe to shoot two. Now, I overheard you seeing, Jimmy, there was a quote that you liked that the coach said. Uh, Can you share that with us? Yeah, the, the Hilltoppers coach said, if you don't get the rebound, you don't deserve it. And I think that I, I like that quote because it shows it's dedication. That's what it shows. If you're dedicated to get that ball, that ball, you will have that ball. It's all pure dedication. Traveling violation. And when it rains, the poor the boxers definitely have a chance to really um, put the gauntlet on the Hilltoppers and put them away going to the fourth quarter. Yes, they do, newbie. Honestly, as I see right now, I see that the defense of the Lady Boxers really amping up the crowd as well. This shot right there from the baseline. Push it. Launches three-point shot, no good. 
another shot fouled. Shoot with Charity straight for two free throws. That foul is going to be put on number 30, Aaliyah Brito. Now it's time for um, at the 140 mark of the third quarter for the annual trivia question sponsored by Nobody. And it's simply, who is the most dominant player in the NBA? Is it A, Shaquille O'Neal? B, Shaquille O'Neal? C, Shaquille O'Neal? Or D, all of the above? Whoever will get the, the that question right will get a free um, DVD. We'll, we'll get a free we're gonna f so it's so uh, whoever and our director is saying that Shaquille doesn't play in the NBA no more. But I, the question clearly states who's the most dominant player in NBA history. As I repeat, as I say for the second time, and, uh, we'll reveal that answer in, in the fourth quarter, and then um, whoever wins will get a free uh, silence DVD. Caruso wide open, puts it off the glass, no good. And Jimmy, those are the opportunities right there where you got to take advantage of. Yes, that's right. Just keeping your head up on the fast break and getting that ball out as quick as possible. Passes get the ball down the court faster than dribbles. That's. In section, you know, 34B, Origin 2 of the Basketball Fundamental Handbook. Puts it up there, and uh, hopefully we our, our, our bleep guy is, is on his game in the truck. So we, we're getting some interesting language here. Um, Great move by Catherine Lewis, number 44, down low in the post. She came around by a little hook shot there. Now she's got the charity strike. First free throws, no good. You know, I love how everyone's calling me on my cell phone. Everyone needs to understand that I'm announcing a game and I can't pick up the phone. Nubia, very important. Presidential election is coming up. Both for yeah, Nubia. Yes, I am. I, as as I thank you for making the announcement, I was going to make it, but you have definitely, um, you know, uh, spilled the beans. I am running for president in 2032. Just as an FYI. Great block by Dominique Cole. The bo Lady Boxers really have their hands on the ball tonight. Offensive board. Oh, nice up and under right there. Nice up and under by the captain. Chanel Melton leading the break. Just rejected. No soup for you. Got to go up strong right there. That can't, assume so no, can't assume it's an easy layup. A strong move by the freshman, number 13, Brianna Cameron. Thirty-one and nineteen. Box is up, and uh, coach clearly not happy with the, the the calls. That's going against New Bedford. That's going against Durfee. Excuse me. If I was a coach, I wouldn't be happy too. Hilltop and guards are playing strong defense. It's not getting the call by their way. We have Chantel Jordan driving baseline to the, going to the charity stripe. <laughs> the coach is so upset. He needed to walk all, all the way across the bench to grab a drink of water. <laughs> like, you know what, guys? <laughs> I need some water. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that when I'm very, very mad. I'm going to say, you know what? Time out, guys. I need some water. Just get up from wherever you're doing. Just walk away. Yeah. Try to get, look for some water. I need a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> 
Second free throw is no good. Almost oh, hits our cameraman over there. Hilltop is running a trademark NBA offense by the Bulls. One four low. Goes baseline, gets rejected. Yes. Chris McDuffie with the great block. Get that baloney out of my deli. You like that, right? <laughs> yeah. I like that one, Newby. I made that one up myself. <laughs> just on the spot right now? Yes, just on the spot right now. Great. I, had that, I thought about it last night knowing I was going to announce the game. Nice. Eight seconds left in the third quarter. Just see, this third quarter has been going on for an eternity. Good split defense by Chris McDuffie. We had a play control called on Chris McDuffie while she was driving hey, hey, to the job. basket. Let it roll, give it a shot. Let it roll, give it a shot. Hey, you're going to get a clean look. There you go. Puts it up. No good, so that's it right there. That's the score, 31 to 19. It looks like Jordan's having a tough time. Um, she hurt her head, I think. So and she got fouled, so she'll shoot three free throws. So three free throws right here before the um, the third quarter ends. A little confusion, at least by me. I don't know. Chantel Jordan was trying to stop the shot going up, and I guess, you know, basic move that she just jumped right into her, causing the three shots. We have the senior, Rachel Cameron. She just shot two for three at the um, charity strike. So eight minutes left in the game. Ten point ball game, 31 to 21. Box is up by 10. Physical game so far. It's been physical all night, Newby. Not so far, all night. That is correct, Jimmy. Thank you for um, publicly humiliating me. <laughs> anytime, Newby. Anytime. That's something I'm here for. Hey, As I do the, do, do the contrary belief, I do make mistakes, and I'm not perfect. But you are running for president. That's what we're looking for. Yes. Someone that can make mistakes and own up to it. But learn from the most mistakes. Yes, that's true. Thank you. 2032 people. Extra points, Jimmy. Louis Vuitton. Extra points. Caruso comes back into the game. Yeah. Get on the ball. A little too much dribbling right there by Caruso. Just 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 bring the ball up. You know, no need for the uh the you know the zig and the zag and the and the crossovers and all that. Melton gets fouled going to the basket. It was a good decision for Chanel Melton to drive to the lane. She seen it, seen it opening and took it. Hey, rebound, Chelsea Fox out. Second free throw is good. Hey, one ball low, one ball low. Box's next game will be at Mansfield, the home of actually assistant coach David Ray. So a bit of a homecoming for him. Pretty sure it'll be very emotional. As that's the assistant coach's hometown, Mansfield. It's always emotional coming back to your hometown. It is always emotional. It feels a little different. Probably like a big parade or something when he comes. The rockets being shot out and stuff. <laughs> Confetti. You know, for the life of me, I don't understand why players go to the basket then right when they're under the basket, clear it back out. Launches a three, no good. 
offensive board. Melton, I'm choosing Jordan fighting for the ball. Going baseline, throws it up there. You know what I don't like in the in the game now? It's not just on this level, it's actually in all levels. Players now go to the basket without even trying to aim for the basket, just throwing it up and hoping for the referee to bail them out. I mean, that's a classic case of um, going to the basket with your eyes closed. That's what I call it. That's what usually players do. They'll dribble down with their head and they'll close their eyes and pray for a shot and pray for the ref to bail them out when they know it's not a good play. Uh, it's just it's just a fundamental mentality that, um, that I think is changing the game right now. Just a little bit, not a lot, but it's been in the game for a while, though. Speak, speaking of, of, of the game, I, I really got to ask you this question because it, it's been all over Facebook. Um, I've seen it. I really got to get your thoughts on the Blake Griffin dunk. Um, the Blake Griffin dunk. When I look at it, you're at the wrong place at the wrong time, Perkins. Stolen right there by the Hilltoppers. You know what? It, it, can't get the basket. I got to tell you what, this is bad basketball right there by the Hilltoppers. Dominique Cole with the dive on the floor. And that's why they're going to lose ball. this game. That's why the Hilltoppers will lose this game because you can't miss shots like that. And another, another thing for the Brock the Boxer, Jimmy, if someone's going to the basket like that with the easy shot, I'm going to just tattoo them and make sure they feel that foul going to the free throw line. Now, granted, she misses, so the box the box is dodge a bullet, but you really got to just, just lay them out if they're going to the paint like that. But yes, Jimmy, your, your thoughts on the Blake Griffin or dunk? When I think about the Blake Griffin dunk, amazing, amazing athleticism. Getting over the hoop and dunking and finishing. And it's not over just some chump. It's over Kendrick Perkins, who actually followed him pretty hard. And yes. he still was, had the upper body strength to finish that dunk. Yes, he did. I mean, and... To give everybody insight, Kendrick Perkins is no small guy. He's about a good 6'9", 6'10", 270, maybe 260. That's a big guy you're jumping over and finishing on. Right now we have the Hilltoppers playing little Helter Skelter right now, a little frustrated, giving out fouls and getting Chris McDuffin to the charity stripe right now. Coaches just uh, over here, I'm just saying, we're basically on the same page. They're just not making shots. They just can't, I mean, they, they, they could have hit the ocean if they're if they're in the ocean. And that's an easy shot right there, hitting the ocean if you're inside the ocean. Yes. I mean, these are just layups. You got to finish that. I mean, they are just absolute, just, Lollipops. Yes, they are. They're, they're, they're gimmies right now. I mean, I can, all I can see is that if you finish the play and you go up strong, you can get an M1, and that's a that's a three-point play that they're trying to look for, but they're not. And as I'm seeing now, the Hilltoppers are not finishing so strong at the free throw line either. Timeout by the Lady Boxers. So timeout, and despite Brockton dominating, despite Durfee shooting absolutely <laughs> atrocious from the from from the field, and, and and that's an understatement. They're only down by eight. <laughs> I mean, this is in five minutes left, which is an eternity in basketball. Yes, I do agree with you on that. Five minutes left is an eternity, and it shows that, you know, it can be a turnover. Now, let's just see out of this timeout what team is going to set that pace and be a stronger team coming out of this break because eight points is eight points, and it could be an eight-point swing anywhere in between five minutes and 40 seconds. Bob Chance, I just want to congratulate um Team Newbie Productions for making it to the um, 
Queens World Film Festival in New York. Um, not just new productions, not just myself. It's it's uh, uh, two other people. One member of Brockton, William Madero, class of 2006. Big part in that documentary. Now getting national attention. Um, so congratulations to the team on that. Uh, Jamie, I consider you a big part of that team, our lead actor. So uh, I'm very happy about that. Enough about me. Let's get back to the game. It's Jordan. Who's the ball? Rachel, 23. 23 out of bounds. Down only by three possessions right here, Jimmy. 531 left. Durfee is right in this ball game. Yes, they are. Brockton has to be smart with the ball. Come on, we gotta get the rebound, Bailey. Quick, quick junk shot by Chantal Jordan. Coming around. Good. No bailouts, no bailouts, Red. It's Jordan in the inside. Who's the ball? Back out to Jordan. Thought about the three. Goes baseline. Puts it up. No good. Another offensive board by the Brockton Boxers. Jordan rejected. No soup for you. Double team puts it up. Good defense by the two ladies down low. Chanel Melton. Melton puts it up. Favoring that right knee. Looks like she'll walk it off. Probably, I think she banged the, uh, just banged her knee. Looks like she'll walk it off though. First free throw is good. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, one ball low. Goes baseline, bounce pass. No good. Go rebound, rebound by Catherine. Poked out of bounds, last touch on the Hilltoppers. McDuffie comes to the game replacing Lewis. Launches three. This is big. No good. That may be the dagger right there. Chanel Melton throwing the ball up ahead. Chantel Jordan for the layup. That may be the ball game. Checkmate point match game. Launches three. Launches no good. Three. Hilltoppers unraveling. One and one for the Hilltoppers right now. Senior guard and captain, Rachel Cameron, making her first free throw. If 
foul right here. And it's going to be all free throws, so sit back, relax. We've got long with a go. 26-36, boxes up by 10. Both teams on the penalty, three minutes left in the basketball game. This could last another half an hour. Right now, as I see it right now, between the Hilltoppers and the Lady Boxers, this is where the fundamental defense comes in. The hands up, not riding your player, nothing like that. Because everybody's in one and one right now. We got to make a free throws. Sharon Springstead makes her first free throw at the charity strike. <clears throat> two for two at the line. And here comes the ball. And finally, Hilltoppers by basket. Maybe too little, too late. Right now, the Lady Boxers is playing a good game of keep away, going around the basket, but as time came down, Hilltoppers was able to tie the ball up and get the, get their, um, the jump ball in their favor of the possession. Just off the mark. Wide open. Oh, just an absolute bunny. Thank you. That's a foul. That's and I have no problem with that. That's a good that's a good foul. But I mean coming down, both teams had great open layups. And I have the Hilltopper coach also agreeing with me as well. It's just this frustrating game because, you know, just in terms of the Hilltoppers, they're just flat out missing shots. Not the matter is it is missing shots. Yes, that's true. You know? all, all off game, flat out, they've been missing a lot of easy shots. Not just regular shots, but easy shots. Number one, uh, I mean, number 21, uh, Chelsea uh, Campalone. She's had just, just layup served up on a poo, poo platter. I mean, you know. Another three, no good. No good. Shannon Spring said with the rebound, she's bringing the ball up court. Out of bounds. I got to tell you what, Jimmy, this, this game's been very sloppy. Um, five, 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 five. Past few minutes. Very sloppy. Yes, that is true. It has been very sloppy on both sides, but I mean, yet again, the teams are very anxious and pressed to play. The Hilltop is the pressure, pressing to get the ball, stealing the ball in a full court press, and I got the Lady Boxers pressing to get open layups down the court, easy open layups down the court. I think Ashley Newby coming out of it right now that this time out right here should set the tone for the last two minutes and 20 seconds. Let's just see who comes out stronger. Hey, this, this, this again, this is a, a good test for the Brockton boxes, good litmus test. Good, good, um, the game to, to test out their mental toughness and fortitude. Good 
Shelby violation right there, so he's still a post for the Hill Dumpers. 38 30, Lady Boxes. We have leading up to the two minute mark. We got an over the, over the back called over on number five, Hilltopper, Jessica Murillos. Leading up to a shooting at the charity strike. Chanel, Chanel Melton, number 11, that's the charity strike right now. Ouch. Hill Top is right now subbing Katie Powers. Early in the game, she showed herself as a shooter. <laughs> Launches three, just off the mark. One fifty one left in the game. We have Dominique Cole subbing in for Aaliyah Brito, number 30. Right now, I just see that, you know, it's just a three-point shootout with the Hilltoppers. They're just shooting it out. And I just want to see who can get those rebounds. Stolen by the Brockton Boxes and another call to the surprise of nobody. Two more free throws. Stop clock. We'll march down the free throw line, and we're going to be here for a long time, ladies and gentlemen. Well, one thing I can say is that when we do go to the free throw line, everything is free. That's why it's called a free throw line, ladies and gentlemen. A free throw line. Free shots. This game started in the fall. It's now winter. Now, newbie, didn't just because it's now ending of winter, it could be spring almost. That's, that means the game is going really slow. <laughs> Chrissy McDuffie splits the free throws at the line, coming down the hilltoppers. Traveling violation right there by the Hilltoppers, another turnover. Just Hilltoppers just can't get out their own way. I mean, they had the opportunities. Having a tough time, that's gonna be a traveling violation or either traveling or a five second violation. Can't make it a three. I don't think the Hilltoppers actually made one three this whole game. No, I don't think so. I think that they have made one early in the game. But that was in the fall, though. <laughs> I get it, Jimmy. You know, I was just reiterating your joke. Yeah, you know. yeah, no, 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 that was, that was good. That was good. That I was, was good. wondering if it was good, you know. So. Yeah, that was good. That was good. So two guys walking to a bar. <laughs> One of the worst inbound passes in boxing history right there. Ouch. And the foul, the only three that the Hilltoppers make in the second half is a four-point play. I mean, that's huge right there. That was a two-possession ball game. Yes, that does make it a two-possession ball game, and I think the flowers are starting to bloom now. Crazy. <laughs> well, 
34, 39, boxes up by five. Now only down by two possessions. At one point, the boxes are up by 11. Jimmy, what do, what do you tell you guys right now? Or gals, just to say? Well, what I would tell my ladies right now is to secure the ball, keep your head up, and look for the open pass if you can. But make sure you bring that ball up, because right now you got to play keep away for a minute and 12 seconds, but also get off a smart shot. I would say, you know, devise a great press break and then get to the basket on transition. I agree 110%, Jimmy. That's why you're the analyst and I'm just a play-by-play -play guy. <laughs> what do I know? The newbie, you are a great play-by-play -play guy. I know that. That's why I'm doing the play-by-play. -play. Just reiterating what I was saying, you know, newbie for two. Great play-by-play. Isn't, -play. isn't that kind of repetitive, newbie and great play-by-play -play guy? Newbie Rito, great play-by-play -play yeah, guy. That's Maybe. like the same. That's like repetitive. No, no, it's not. Okay. The underlying theme is that I'm great. And that's, that's the point that we're trying to make. That's what it's all about. Another free throw by Chanel Melton. We have two shots at the line for Chantel Jordan. Right now they're in double double. Ten fouls. Just off the mark. Offensive rebound by the Hilltoppers again. Still have a chance. Puts it up. And in. Melton coast to coast. Gets fouled. Looks like she got poked in the eye. Does um, she have contacts? Yes, yeah, she does wear contacts. Okay. So it looks like she uh, a contact um, came out. Hey. 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 <laughs> but when she comes off the floor, is it? Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll talk after the game. Yeah, she's going to put on her contact. So 41 seconds left. Time, 41 seconds left. Box is up by three points. Looks like this game may go overtime. This game deserves overtime. She puts her contacts in, gets her. They didn't tell you not to talk about it. The smart thing is It's uh. Gets a great ovation from the crowd. This is a free throw, and this may, this has been a, a continued problem for the block to box in this whole season, this free throw. It's, like it's been a continued problem for all night for between both teams, though. Missing a lot of free throws. Yeah. 
He makes the second one, bringing the game down to a two possession game, 40 to 36 in Brockton's favor. Launches a three, front rims it. Last touch of the boxes. So 30 seconds left. Boxes up by four, Hilltoppers with the ball. They need to get a quick shot right here and, 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 and foul. Having a tough time controlling the ball. Right now we have 23.3 seconds left. Timeout for the Hilltoppers. The score is 40 Lady Boxes, 36 the Durfee Hilltoppers. This I just want to thank our crew for doing a great job. Um, first of all, I just want to thank our director downstairs in the truck, Paul Mandeville. Um, actually, I should say first and foremost, I should say last <laughs> and foremost. Uh, Paul Mandeville doing a great job in the truck. Um, Matt. Matt Nelson doing a fantastic job. Uh, Mike uh, Mike Simmons, uh, Robert Curry, um, TV Club doing a great job. I can get a help on the names over here. Um, Lynn, Lynn Tartaglia's fantastic game, a fantastic crew, I should say, uh, doing a great job for us. Brockton I TV Club um, giving us a helping hand to set up and, 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 and so forth. Out of bounds. And that was probably the last chance for the Duffy O Toppers. Let's we'll stop the transitional fast break. Number 10, Bailey Brooks from the Hilltoppers. Give the foul out to Chris and Miss Duffy at the line right now. Christian McDuffie splitting the two free throws at the line. Goes out of bounds off McDuffie's foot, I think. So Hilltop has kicked the ball with nine seconds left. And that looks like that would be the ball game right there. Forty-one thirty-six. Emotion bleeding out the Brockton boxes. Fantastic win, Jimmy. Great game by the Lady Boxes played tonight. They've came in here. They've staked their claim. They played excellent defense. They played excellent offense as well. And they kept the pace. They played at their pace tonight. Lady Boxes did great tonight, movie. What can I say? They did fantastic job. So that's the score right there. 41 to 36. For everyone here at Newbury Atoll, Jimmy Melton, everyone at BCA, Godspeed, and we'll see you next time. Go Patriots.